Hello everybody and welcome to Polka Dot Pots. I'm Erin Rassiope and today I'm going to show you how to do the ombre effect with dots. It's easy, fun, and it looks amazing. Plus, I'll tell you how you can win this mug. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is apply stickers. Stickers are the easiest way to get clean and crisp looking letters and shapes on your piece. Simply place the stickers down first, paint over them, and peel them off at the end to leave the shape of the letter. Some stickers have a center piece that you need to remove, like this O for example. Instead of using a brush, I'm using this dot maker to paint this mug. Dot makers are easy to use and there are four sizes of dots to choose from on this handy little tool. To get the same size dot, simply dip once into the paint and once onto your pottery. I'm not too worried about dot size consistency here, so I'm dabbing onto my piece a few times before reloading with paint. The effect of going from light to dark is called ombre. I'm using light and dark brown on this coffee mug, but you could use any color you like and apply ombre to any piece of pottery. In order to get the blended effect that defines ombre, I'm starting with a high concentration of dark brown dots around the stickers and making less as I go out. Now that I'm finished dotting the dark brown, I'll move on to a lighter brown, filling in between some of the dark brown dots. And then I'll do the same with the lightest brown. Now that the paint is dry to the touch, I'm ready to remove the stickers. Using a toothpick, apply pressure to the edge of a sticker. Once part of the sticker separates from the item, grab it and peel it off. If any paint gets underneath the sticker, just scrape it off with the toothpick. I'm done and this piece is ready to be glazed and fired. Once we glaze and fire this mug, it will be food safe and ready for you to enjoy your favorite cup of joe. And here's the finished product. I just can't get enough of ombre, and with the dot maker, it makes it so easy anyone can do it. Okay, now it's time to pick one of you to win this mug. To enter, simply answer the question of the day in the comment section below, and we'll randomly pick one of you to ship this to for free. The question of the day is, what's your favorite type of coffee? Mine's a vanilla bean frappuccino from Starbucks. Okay, I know it's not coffee, but I get it every time. Until next time, I'm Erin Rassiopi. Happy painting.